This question is taken from Berkeley Math Tournament. And the question goes like this. The polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c crosses the x-axis at x equals 10 and x equals negative 6 and crosses the y-axis at y equals 10. The question is find the value of a plus b plus c. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So given this equation, this polynomial, rather, ax squared plus bx plus c, we can equate this to y because we have here a parabola, crosses to x-axis. So this means x equals 10 and x equals 6 must be the x-intercept and crosses the y-axis at y equals 10. So this y equals 10 must be the y-intercept. So, we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and the x-intercepts are x equals 10 and x equals negative 6, and the y-intercept must be equal to y equals 10. Alright, now let's get the equation. We have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, our goal is to find the value of a plus b plus c. Now, to answer this question, we will use the other form of this quadratic equation. We have y equals a multiplied by x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta, wherein this alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation. Now, we know alpha and beta because the x-intercept of this equation must be equal to x equals 10 and x equals negative 6. So we can replace alpha with 10 and beta with negative 6 because these are the roots of this quadratic equation. So if we do that, we get something like y equals a multiplied by x minus 10 multiplied by x minus negative 6. Now we can simplify this. Negative of negative 6, this will give us positive 6. So we have y equals a multiplied by x minus 10 multiplied by x plus 6. Now, Another given is its y-intercept, or this point on the Cartesian plane must be equal to 0, 10. Now, it tells us when x equals 0, y must be equal to 10. So, if we replace all x with 0, this y, this y right over here must be equal to 10. So, all x must be equal to 0. So, if we do that, we get 10 equals a multiplied by 0 minus 10 multiplied by 0 plus 6. Now, let's simplify. 0 minus 10, this is negative 10, of course. And 0 plus 6, this is positive 6. Now, a times negative 10 times negative times positive 6, this will give us negative 60a. And if we divide both sides by a factor of 10, this will give us 1 equals negative 6a. And to solve for the value of this a, let's divide both sides by negative 6. So this a right over here, we can replace this with its value negative 1 over 6. And now, don't forget our goal. Our goal is to find the sum of a plus b plus c. But take note, a x squared plus b x plus c must be the same thing as negative 1 over 6 multiplied by x minus 10 multiplied by x plus 6. So we can equate them. And now, since our goal is the sum of a plus b plus c, now take note, if we let x equals 1, if we let x equals 1, what will happen is this x squared right over here, we have x squared, we have 1 squared, and 1 squared is just 1. And this x right over here is just 1 also. So if you simplify this, we have a plus b plus c. So... To get the value of a plus b plus c, let x be equal to 1. And if we do that, we get on the left-hand side a plus b plus c. On the right, we have negative 1 over 6 times 1. This is x a while ago. 1 minus 10. This is x a while ago. So we have 1 plus 6. Now, let's simplify. 1 minus 10, this will give us negative 9. And 1 plus 6, this is 7. 
Now, 1 negative 1 over 6 times negative 9 times negative 7. This will give us positive 63 over 6. And divide both sides by 3 because it's divisible by 3. So the numerator becomes 21 and the denominator becomes 2. Therefore, the sum of a plus b plus c must be equal to 21 over 2. So our answer to this Berkeley math tournament question, the polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c crosses the x-axis as x equals 10 and x equals negative 6 and crosses the y-axis as y equals 10, then the value, the sum of a plus b plus c must be equal to 21 over 2 or 10.5. And as always, we are done.